Symmetric, fixed, and smooth constraints. We can use the symmetric constraint to make sure that one half is equal to the other half. We can use the fixed constraint to nail down geometry so it doesn't move from that particular point. And we can use the smooth constraint so that it creates a curvature continuous situation or a G2 curve so that it makes a very smooth curve between lines. Let's take a look at our fixed um, and let's go up into our parametric and then into our geomet geometric constraints panel. We're going to go to our fixed uh, tool, uh, our fixed constraint. We pick on fixed and it says select a point and when I hover over this center line it finds the midpoint of it so I'll pick right there and I'll put that constraint now so I'll, now that's locked down so everything's based on that. Next we're going to do a, a, a symmetric constraint. In our uh, symmetric constraint we're going to make sure one half is equal to the other. We're going to go up to our geometric um, panel we're going to go to our symmetric uh, constraint. We're going to pick on that. We're going to select the first object that uh, we're going to uh, select. And uh, I can say I want, uh, for example, this object and this object to be symmetrical. And I'll pick this, this, uh, the symmetry line, which is this. And now I got those two uh, circles being symmetrical. Likewise, I want to do the outside of the arcs. I'll do the same. I'll pick the symmetrical constraint. I'll pick the first object, which is this arc. I'll pick the second object, which is the arc. Now I'll pick my symmetry line, which is this line, red line, uh, center line. And now I've built another symmetrical part about it. If now I make a revision to the part where I come in and do a move, for example, and I move my circle, you can see how everything is symmetrical about that. All right.